Well, at its most basic, it's the time difference between one audio signal and another. So if something's not lined up time-wise, it can possibly put things out of phase. I can show you this on the uh, example here. So up here I've got a um, sine wave on the screen, one kilohertz tone. So if I press play, you hear a tone. It's all good. It's in mono, it's in the center of the speakers. So if I add another one and make it in phase, you'll see that the, the peaks of the waveform hit at the same place. So we're down here, we're down here at the same spot. And we're up here and we're up here. So if we play them together now, we get, we get those two adding together. So we get double the volume. Well, good. If I was to take this right hand side now and, and make it out of phase using this plugin, you'll notice that basically the whole thing's moved along by one, one uh, waveform. You notice that the, uh, the peaks are now at opposites. So this one goes down, this one goes up. So if I play these two waveforms now, you're going to get no signal at all. Completely silent, even though they're still playing, as you can see on the meters here. And I can prove that by, if I mute one channel, you start hearing it again. Because they're not cancelling each other out. So basically what, what's happening there is you've got two things that are out of phase and they cancel out in mono. If you have you know, something completely out of phase in the mix, say, say the vocal is accidentally out of phase completely, then when you hit mono the vocal will just disappear and you'll have all the instruments playing but no vocal. Um, obviously that's a bad thing. Um, but you can get instruments that are slightly out of phase. So you may, have, for instance, have an acoustic guitar on one side in the mix that's um, been doubled with a delay, so that it's got an acoustic guitar on the left and a double of the acoustic guitar on the right, which is just a delayed version of the left-hand side. Sometimes you'll get this cancellation, so that when you, when you put the mix in mono, um, the, the acoustic guitars will sort of disappear a bit in the mix possibly even totally at certain points. So what I've got here, I've got a guitar which I've duplicated onto two channels. One channel is panned to the left, one channel is panned to the right. If I play them both together, sounds like one guitar in the middle of the mix. And if I take one side and just move it over a fraction, to get the stereo spread sound going but if you look at the phase meter you'll notice it's um, looking very out of phase and then if I play it in mono it starts to sound very hollow and thin and that's what what the cancellation is that's the effect of cancellations so in this particular example here this is a track where the um, the kick drum is kind of out of phase and what, what this does to this mix is give it a very undefined center and if you if you zoom right into the waveform you can see that these peaks on the on the kick drum here are opposite each other there's other things going on here so they're not exactly the same but the kick drum is the thing that's giving us the, the big peaks here and they're basically pretty much 180 degrees out of phase so you've got the opposites going on all the way through the kick drum sound. So that's an example of a track that's uh, that's gone wrong. AM radio is quite often in mono. A lot of TV sets are still in mono. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is if you have a lot of phase difference in the bottom end, like in the bass frequencies, you will have problems cutting to vinyl. Now we don't do a lot of cutting to vinyl, but people still do cut vinyl. And when you play, when the needle tries to track the bottom end, if there's a lot of outer phase information, it can actually end up popping out of the groove because it's so confused about where to go. Um, another reason, if you've got a system with a subwoofer, um, most systems where they have subwoofers, you only have one subwoofer. So that means that the, the bottom end is summed in mono in the subwoofer. 
and if you've got out of phase information in the bottom end that's going to be cancelling out so rather than trying to get more bottom end which is what you're doing when you when you put in a subwoofer you're actually going to get less bottom end because it's cancelling out it's always a good idea to listen to things in mono and see what happens to see if anything disappears and cancels out um, or you can get a phase meter a lot of uh, programs now have plugins that, are, that will give you a readout of the phase correlation. So the idea is to keep your mix not completely and utterly totally in phase, because otherwise you have no stereo image, but you want to be more in phase than out of phase. And uh, that way you'll get a good cohesive sort of center image to the mix um, and things will sound good, good and punchy and, and in phase.